Hopefully everyone can hear me all right. I see Victor is here. Neil is here. KB is here. How you doing this evening? Everybody hear me? Can everybody hear me? Ooh, bright light. Let me get to the point where I can check what's going on here. What up, what up? How's everybody doing? Uh, let, let, we will not comment. I need to go to the dashboard. Oh, content. Live. Never worked. All right. Victor says, Howdy, y'all. And KB says, Ro, T, Sir, Re. I, I, I see what you did there with the smiley faces turning all up. Yeah, I see. I see you. Look, see, I could, I could one up you and be like, Ro, T, Siri. Ha ha. <laughs> How did that work out? Did it work? <laughs> did it work? <laughs> Let's see. If it worked. <laughs> I might have to do it again. Come on, play. <laughs> yeah, it did work. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> perfect. Uh, <laughs> he's laughing. Tom Chef, he says, Bon noche, and he gave his thumbs up. Oh, obrigado, obrigado. Oh, <laughs> KB said it worked. It worked. <laughs> we might have to, you might have to, you know, like remind me and be like, Spin the, spin the camera. <laughs> Mark, how you doing? Thank you. He said he left a like. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up button for me, I'd greatly appreciate it. Oh, man, man, man. Hopefully everybody is doing well. <laughs> you know, it's it's kind of trippy. So I'm here, and then I have, you know, my laptop here. And, yeah. Um, whew. Urban Culture Kitchen. What's going on, KC? How you doing, sir? Oh, goodness. Oh. Eyes. <clears throat> man oh man. How you doing, man? It's been a minute. I feel like I haven't seen you in not not forever. But in a month of Wednesdays. <laughs> you ever get hit with that one when you was in church as a kid? No, I ain't seen you in a month of Sundays. When I was a kid, you know, my cheeks, they 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 were just they were just as big. They were just people them old ladies used to grab my cheeks, man. I used to hate that. <laughs> Uh, the game says double dash. Yeah, I mean, we could we could do some some Inception stuff if you really want. Where I like turn the camera onto the laptop, and then you can see the laptop and the no, nah, bro. I'm woo woo. Uh, cute smoke said catered my first fifty person event yesterday. Your tips helped a lot. Well, that's what's up, man. <laughs> Uh, KC said, let me say hi to the host first. Uh, do you, uh, do you want you to get on, get on? Oh, don't want you to get on, brother. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You're, you're good. You're good. I just be giving grief, man. Uh, Victor says, hey, big shout out to the folks in Florida. You're in my thoughts. Indeed. Indeed. Definitely. I spoke to, uh, excuse me. I, I haven't even started drinking yet, and I'm yawning. So I spoke to John uh, Grano. He is a supporter, and he's one of the um, you know subscriber, and he is definitely one of those folks who is on the live streams, who's in the comments. He is in the Tampa area. My buddy Travis, who is down in the Tampa area, he's just north of Tampa. And then um, my mother-in-law is down in uh, Central Florida as well. And then I have another friend. He lives in, I guess it's, I can't remember if it's Tallahassee or Jacksonville, but he's down there. 
And I hit all three of them up earlier this week, and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm just thinking about you guys. Obviously, if you need any help with anything, you know, let me know. And John said thanks, Travis said thanks, and then my buddy uh, Clyde, he's like, hey, uh, this is your mother-in-law's first storm, isn't it? And I'm like, yeah, it is. He said, well, you know, let me know if she needs any help or anything. You know, I'll go down there and try to help her out. I'm like, bro, that is awesome. So very appreciative that, you know, I had friends in lots of different places. And I include you guys in that friends list, too. So it's one of those things where if I know where you are and I'm like, hey, uh, this person, can I lean on you to do X, Y, and Z? So, yeah. <laughs> Mark says, Dash, it's uh, always nice to see you. You're always in an up, uh, up, eat, up, beat. I, 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 um, it's one of those things, you know, how, um, you ever see somebody say, I, uh, I play a doctor on the internet, or, you know, I, it, it's, it, I have to, you know, I'm, I'm in a good mood because you guys put me in a good mood. Like, seriously, I have a good time hanging out with you guys. I mean, it's, I put, I don't say my troubles and my strife, but, I put my, um, you know, I put my problems on hold for a, an hour or two every week, and the the best thing I can do is, you know, have a good time while I'm doing this. But you know, I got things going on in my life too. Jack, what's going on? How you doing, Jack? Betty, hey, Jack, if if Betty's not watching or listening, please tell Betty I say hey. Um, Jack said, "What's up, room? Everyone okay?" So far, so good. Uh, you know, we're, we're we are. I'm scheduled to uh, cook this Saturday. Well, actually, Friday into Saturday morning for a fall festival for Taste Sister Number Three's school. But today is Wednesday, and it is up in the air. Oh, <clears throat> we we got a jar out. This one. This one is is vodka like, uh, you know. Uh, but there's a fall festival at Kiddo, Kiddo Number Three's school, Taste Test Number Three, and we're not sure if it's gonna happen. But I am supposed to be cooking, um, doing pulled pork and chicken. Uh, all right. Mark says nice. Jack says. Uh, She's in her recliner, still recovering, but doing great. Well, I'm glad to hear. Jack, any of your kids come through or hang out and help you out? Or does, is, uh, are you taking care of Betty? I won't say 100%, but, you know, are you taking care of Betty? Hopefully you're not, you know, smoking uh, any meat that tastes like cigarettes anytime soon. Uh, so when are you going to have guests back on your show? Oh, shoot. Is this the last? Did I say I was going to do it on the last Wednesday of the month? I can't even remember. That probably should have been today. So sorry. Um, I'm going to have to, like, set it on the calendar or something to, to try and remember. Because this afternoon was, um, nope, I'm on. Oh, oh I guess he's saying, nope, I'm one man. Um, sorry, I'm trying to read the comment. There's a circle. Oh, I'm on my own. Uh, so, like I was saying, the fall festival is Saturday. And we are expecting rain all weekend long from Friday through Sunday. So they are not sure whether or not they're going to have the fall festival on Saturday or whether they're going to move it to an indoor event on Saturday. Uh, a Actually, shout out, uh, Bumpy. <laughs> hey, man, what you doing this weekend? <laughs> uh, you know, might be able to use an extra set of hands. Um, and then you might be able to get some experience on how a, a large event goes. Uh, Saturday afternoon, like, mm, I can give you the specifics if you're available. Anyway, uh... Hmm, so that's that, uh, but uh, I'm glad to hear that she's doing all right. And Neil, I really think, I, crap, a month has gone by so fast. Yo, I, I don't know, I don't know where the time goes, like seriously. Like, 
today, oh man, today was a day. This week has been a week. Um, I rip and run like every afternoon. Errands, picking up the kids, doing, you know, stuff with the kids. Soccer games with Taste Us number two. Uh, let's see, Q the Smoke says, are you mixing the shine or chasing with the energy drink? Nah, I'm mixing it with the shine. I pour it, so I, I'm going to say always, but I pour just, a, and I pour too much shine in there. So it's just a splash of energy drink. So I'll probably take a couple sips and then chase it. But I did mix it with the, with the, and technically this isn't, this isn't shine. This is, uh, this is vodka. So if it were, if it were corn liquor, then it would be moonshine. But mm, I don't know quite how that works out. Because is all moonshine stuff that came out of a homemade still? Or is only corn liquor the stuff that comes out of a homemade still? Though to get the faster, <laughs> Neil says, the older you get, faster time goes. I, I know. Well, Neil, I'll take your advice for it. But today was a today was a day. So, I mean, just like for an example, right? So today, you, you know, a lot of you guys know, I, I, I've been working to get my concealed permits and things like that. So I uh, went down to D.C. to get my D.C. concealed. And my appointment was for $250. I got down to... The administration building wherever I had to go and I got there at 2 30 they let us well we got there earlier than that it was me and my buddy we got there earlier than that and the guy was like oh you're too early you guys don't have to stand outside he's like oh I'll let you come back in at 2 30 so he, they wave us in at 2 30 we go upstairs and we sit and we wait and we wait and we wait it wasn't until we sat there for over an hour before they even called us into the room to check our stuff when they check our stuff they're like, oh, do you have these, you know, these articles of identification? I'm like, why do I need to give you? It's, it's not like I'm getting a driver's license and you need to verify my address. If I have my Maryland ID and I have um, my concealed for Maryland and you're basically doing the reciprocity, not reciprocity, but you're using the training from my Maryland in order to, for me to get to D.C., why do I need to prove to you, give you all of these forms of identification? Anyway, I had to dig through my wallet. Luckily enough for me, because I didn't, aside from my driver's license, I don't have anything else that has my address on it. I had a concealed permit for another state that has my address on it. They're like, we won't accept that. What? What? I had an old insurance card a physical insurance card from you know that has my address on it we don't accept that because that's the insurance card if you want the insurance why wouldn't you take the insurance card which has my address like i i don't understand this so then one of the ladies who was there she was being snarky and she was like you don't vote yes i vote like why would i you don't have your reg road of registration card i'm like who really carries that around like i don't even know where that is like what she was like what about vehicle registration like snarky i'm like i didn't drive my vehicle or i would run downstairs and go get my vehicle registration because it's in my car in my car which is at my buddy's house so no i don't have my vehicle registration and i'm like all right well i'm gonna keep digging in my wallet and i found my voter registration who knew my voter registration was in my wallet i didn't i, I sure as hell didn't so i pulled out the voter registration and was like hey look here you go look here we go she was like cool good she's like good Welcome to D.C. Anyway, fill out the paperwork, did the thing, good to go. Well, we'll see. Anyway, Hog Hog says I'm on hot sake. Nice. Uh, Jeremy says I found these days, uh, the days seem to get longer and the years get shorter. I completely understand and empathize with that, that sentiment because I... I want to say I'm up longer and time season seems to just go by that much faster. <sighs> wow, Bill, how you doing this evening? Victor says, just got the news. We can take clams at the beach the next few days. 
I'll be leaving tomorrow with uh, the camera. I promise I'll do a video. Nice. That's what's up, Victor. Congratulations. Yeah, but I, so that was this afternoon. So that was, I got to D.C. It was 2 o'clock. I didn't leave D.C. until 5 o'clock. 5, oh, excuse me. I didn't leave D.C. until 4 o'clock. Two hours I spent. Two? Two hours I spent in D.C. trying to do my concealed stuff. Like, why did it take that long? Like, really, it shouldn't have taken that long. By the time we left, it was like 4.15. I got back to my buddy's house. It was 5.15. And then I had to get beat feed to get home, which was 45 minutes away without traffic. It took me an hour and 10 minutes to get to taste test number two school, which tonight was a back to school night. Yay. So back to school night. Did the back to school night thing, left from there, stopped and got dinner, because no one was home to cook, stopped and got dinner, and then I packed my dinner and took it with me to the charger to go charge my car. I hit 10,000 miles in my car, if anyone cares. Uh, Dave, what's going on, man? So yeah, I hit 10,000 miles on the, e, on the ID4, and uh, I sat and ate my dinner at the charger. <laughs> Uh, came on home, got in the house at, uh, literally with five minutes to spare on a, you know, before the live stream started, sat down and got it all. Uh, should be the line from Taxi Movie. Are you texting me? <laughs> mm -mm. See, the one thing I've learned about, you know, people who work in government positions, they deal with people all day long. And it's not necessarily my fault that they have a bad attitude or my fault that they're snarky. But I, you know, I, I try to be, you know, I try to enhance some levity and, you know, other things like that. But every now and again, man, I, I just be like, damn, like, <laughs> I mean, she literally was like, you don't vote. Really? Are you, is that your way of asking if I have a voter registration card? Okay, and when I found it, I, I could have done a backflip. <laughs> I was like, yes, I do not have to come back down to D.C. and do this all over again. Grumpus, he says, hey, hey, the gang's all here. What up, Terry? He says, hey, Yellow Dash. Yes, man, always a pleasure seeing and talking to you guys. So how many of you guys have rotisseries? Uh, you know, now that I've talked about my afternoon, that was just this afternoon. That, that doesn't, I mean... Yeah, you know, that was just tonight. Uh, just said, you're asking bureaucrats what would make things take so long because they get paid, they don't care, no incentive to be efficient. That is, that is, that is true. Um, every day, every I don't even want to say it's bureaucrats, but it's, it's the whole thing is so you know, it's funny is you say that, Victor. Um, I always tell people that the best time to go to uh, in Maryland the DMV the driver the, the driver motor uh, is it driver motor vehicles or whatever or department of motor vehicles they don't call it department of motor vehicles here in Maryland they call it the MVA it's the Maryland Vehicle Administration of course uh, like even. In Pennsylvania, it's not, you know, DMV, it's PennDOT, the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation. They, they do all of the driver's licensing and things like that. Well, at the MVA in Maryland, the best time to go in there is like between an hour and a half an hour before they close. Because those people who work there are incentivized because they're about to leave. So they want to get in, they want you to get you out. The worst time you can go is first thing in the morning or like mid-morning. Because... One, they don't care. And they're like, I still got four hour, hours to go. They don't move fast. But that last hour, that last half hour, oh, they be pushing to get everybody who makes it in the door out the door. So that's my, you know. <laughs> what up, Darnell? How you doing this evening? Uh, <laughs> Grumpus says, tonight's topic has my head spinning. <laughs> I see what you did there, Grumpus. I see what you did there. Uh, Mark says, I have one. Victor, Terry, uh, Terry says, I'm yelling because you're so far away. Hmm. 
Uh, Jimmy, how you doing this evening? Jimmy from Cuff and Stuff Barbecue. Darnell popped in, so uh, that reminded me to, to check, look at look at my brokerage account. He, he He's such a good reminder to, for me to look at my brokerage account. So I'm going to look at my brokerage account because I haven't looked at it in a day or so. See just how red it is today. Bro, I'm... I'm so sick of this, but I would, I mean, I wish I had extra money to be able to throw at it. Oh, goodness gracious, do I ever. And I know that once it bounces back, it'll be better. And I got in at an opportune time. Oh, holy cow. We went up 2.84% today. Good golly. And it's... Primarily just recovery on stuff that dropped in the last couple days. Oh yeah, we had a good green day. Exxon up 3%. Anyway, I'll look back at that a little later. I'm curious. Yes. Oh, still down. Damn. Alright. Anyway. Uh, uh, huh. Let's see. Uh... Mark says he has a Weber rotisserie. KB says I have a rotisserie on my 22 and a half Weber Smoky Mountain. All right, that's interesting. <laughs> Victor says spinning. Nice, Grumpus. Let's roll. You guys are so funny. Uh, Bill said I'm actually looking to add a rotisserie to my Santa Maria. Nice. Bill says I want to get a rotisserie here. Well, look, let's see here. I will uh, control T. I'll hook you up with a link and you can check out the the Weber rotisserie. Uh, if I can spell rotisserie. There we go. So the Weber rotisserie kit is, uh, you know, it's a little expensive. But actually, here's a, I'm going to say a knockoff, but it really is a knockoff. Um, this one is 80 bucks, And let me see. So, this is... Uh, come on, where is the... There we go. And let's see. Oh, I can actually copy the link. All right. <clears throat> so here is a link to. There's a link to the like a rotisserie kit uh, on Amazon. It is not the uh, Weber kettle kit, but they do have the the Weber kettle kit. That's like uh, it. It used to be a hundred bucks. It's now like a hundred and um where is it? What? This one's showing the Weber twenty two inch kettle charcoal it's a kettle what's the name? The kettle ring and everything that it's two hundred and thirty four dollars. That's nuts. But it is gray. Here's other ones. Oh look, here's the only fire Santa Maria style rotisserie system. Um, and it basically puts a Santa Maria on your on your kettle. That's 145 bucks. But the Weber kettle rotisserie kit used to be about 100, 150 bucks. Um, no, look at that. The Weber 290 charcoal, yeah, see, but this comes with other stuff, and I actually would like, you know, anybody have or use one of these, um, baskets, or I'll put a, a link to that too, anybody ever use one of these baskets, I'm kind of curious to how they work, if they work, but I actually have a, a plan to do a video with the rotisserie soon if you guys haven't seen I've done videos in the past with rotisserie 
Uh, R O T I S. Let's see. Show all. I've done a couple of videos with rotisserie. Um, I've done chicken. Uh, that's actually that the, the rotisserie that I did or what I did with chicken was on an old grill. That video was from it was five years ago. Whew. But the what's crazy is the um that grill had an infrared burner like in the back for um ooh, you guys want to cringe and watch this together? But it had a a burner like an infrared burner in the back specifically for um making rotisserie uh, chicken or just doing rotisserie period. Then I did. Well, I talked about when I got the rotisserie, and actually, one of you guys sent that rotisserie. I believe it was, um, I know it was Eric, but I can't remember what his channel name is. But Eric sent it, and then I did pulled pork on it. Then I did more pulled pork. Where I did, yeah, more pulled pork. And a uh, boneless leg of lamb via rotisserie. I did the, <laughs> when I had that that uh, problem with the, um, when I did that event and I had the, I, I had a rotisserie that I rented and it just broke on me. But the other, one of the other uh, things that was really good was when I made the porchetta. My family loves when I make the porchetta. I'm going to actually, I made, I don't want to say porchetta, but I made a <laughs> a meat loaf. And it was a piece of porchetta that I, I braided. It was two that I braided. And um, it looked like a loaf of like challah. It looked like a loaf of bread. But I wouldn't dare say, you know, like a meat loaf or like a challah and then talk about pork. So I feel like that's kind of sacrilegious. Dave says, I might have to get a rotisserie, dude. I highly... Oh yeah, um, Darnell, I was contemplating selling the barbecue, um, the the barbecue shares, or at least selling a couple of them, like maybe three or five, because I only have, I think I have like ten, I think I have eight or ten shares, um, and I was I was contemplating selling like three or five, and purchasing the company that took them over because the company that took them over pays dividends where barbecue does not. So Terry says, I want a rotisserie like Thyron's. Oh, okay. Um, Grumpus says, DIY my rotisserie for the offset firebox. Did a video about it too. All right, well, let's see if we can find Grumpus's video. New tab. Let's see, Grumpus. Oh, G-R-U-N-P-U-S. On fire. Let's look. We're going to search. Oh, wait. DIY rotisserie on the Lone Star Kettle Offset. That's the one, Grumpus. I've seen that one. That's unbelievable. Hey, everyone. He said, he said, hey, are we plugged in? <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm Grumpus. Thanks for turning the Grumpus on fire. You know how I am, Grumpus. I always speed everything up when I watch it. I'm gonna watch this one again in a little while, since I have it. But let's let's look at Grumpus's. Well, I'm gonna say let's, but check out Grumpus's video. Uh, long time, Grumpus. Yes, indeed. Uh, says thank you. The basket is handy for wings and small stuff. Okay, camp house. Okay. Uh, Victor says I have a rotisserie from Cajun Bandit, all stainless steel. I've had it for all of a year and a half. Don't laugh uh, too hard. I still haven't set it up. Victor, what the hell, Victor? I know, man. This is he's like playing with our emotions. Oh man, I have this big old thing and blah blah blah, and I've never used it. You know what? I won't. I won't give Victor too much grief because someone was talking about the the Hun Sacker. Oh, it was Victor, probably. I think it was Victor. He was talking about the Hun Sacker hanging rib like whatever it was and i was like oh man you know what that'd be cool i, I went out and ordered one 
it's, it's, it's sitting in a box over there. Uh, I've never opened it because I just don't hang stuff in my in my uh, cookers. Uh, Neil says, what's your favorite rub to use? Wax on, wax off. Sometimes I'll switch it up and I'll be like, wax on, wax off. But those, those are my favorite rubs. Like, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, Neil, so um, I have been using, I don't say using a lot of, but when I'm cooking for my family, I will use some Uncle Steve shake. Uh, there are a decent amount of things I'll do with Uncle Steve's. I highly uh, recommend Uncle Steve shake. Uh, let's see here. S oh, shake. And I just want to make sure I have the website 100% correct and spelling before I copy and paste it. But yeah, Uncle C Shake, you know, definitely check it out. <laughs> Victor says, Grumpus, my superpower is procrastination. My kryptonite is spelling. What up, Johnny? How you doing this evening? Johnny's been, John, well, yeah. Johnny's been killing the game with his videos. I just, <sighs> you know, it's funny. I People used to always ask me how I found the time to film and do all of the videos that I did. I really don't know how I did it now that I'm trying to get back into the swing of, of doing it. Because I'm like, what the hell? I, uh, I don't know. What the hell? I have not been able to. Yeah. Neil says, has anyone tried to cook puff balls? Like the cheese puff balls? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, Jimmy says, oh, go to Uncle Jimmy's channel if you want to see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy is funny because Jimmy, Jimmy is, uh, you know, he definitely talks about Uncle Steve's shake. I mean, well, I don't say definitely. He's done it a time or two. Uh, let's see. Steve, you cuffing stuff. Whoa. Stuff from the cuffs. No. Who are these people? We have an addition to the family. Nope. Not that. Not. Nope. Uh, copy that. And here is Jimmy's channel. Ba, 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 ba. Anybody ever had Wahlburger? Um, <laughs> yeah. Jimmy has a video one or 125. Yeah, I have. I've. I've only purchased Wahlburgers like at the store. Um. Never been to a Wahlburger. Uh, Johnny said, I'm going to slow down uh, this off season. I'm going to do a video every other week until Thanksgiving. Nice. <sighs> Jimmy said, uh, Johnny says he is, excuse me, Jimmy, you guys, you know, I've been drinking. Jimmy said, buried in, buried in the abyss. Mm -mm. Shoot. That's how I feel, buried in the abyss. I haven't even had time for, like, any hobbies of mine. Neil says, I've been uh, sampling different rubs, and they all seem so salty. See, that's the thing that's subjective. Um, You have to know how to use the particular seasoning. My head, oh, I don't want to say it feels because it really is oily. I, my head was dry this morning, so I put some oil on my head. So now it's like extra, extra slick. Ah, oh, all right. Uh, that feels better. It's like, I don't want to, like, I want to be able to 
put my hand on my head and it not like fly forward. Anyway, so Neil, it, it's subjective. You have to know how to season your food with the seasonings that you have. If that makes sense. It's, um, let's see. Uh, what up, Russ? He said they have, uh, they have brisket in them. Uh, my wife bought some home and I cooked them so good. Did I miss your first message? Oh, anybody had ever had Wahlburger? Okay, okay, now I understand. So I read your comment and didn't acknowledge, you know, you, Russ. Uh, yes, so a lot of ground beef, there are a lot of ground beefs that are coming out that are brisket or like brisket or bison. I know I've seen ground brisket at my market, my local market. And it'll call out, you know, what percentage of ground brisket it is in the meat. Uh, let's see. Johnny says, I guess you're done talking rotisserie. I'm trying not to only buy a kebab rotisserie. They have I me mean, doing a video for them. No, I'm not done talking about rotisserie. It's just, you know, me and 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 uh, topics. You know, it's like squirrel. Um, So, I haven't loved the Weber kettle rotisserie and i'm really appreciative uh, one of you guys sent sent that to me they were like hey do something with this and i'm like okay i'm trying to i know it was eric but i'm trying to figure out which eric it was at least i think it was eric hold on i'm looking uh it wasn't anyway i'm gonna think about who's who it was that sent it uh, you're gonna believe this week I had to lose the beard. What? What? Wait, Jimmy said you're not gonna believe it. This week I had to lose the beard. Oh man. Uh, somebody play tap. Do I need to play taps? Rick just says the hanging rack works great in a Weber Smoky Mountain. Actually, been thinking about doing a few racks that way. Okay. Neil says no. Either way, I'll put my and go outside and look like. Look like a ball and taste like a mushroom. Nah, I don't know nothing about that. Quentin says, hey, yo, hurricane party. Quentin, you'll appreciate this. I hit 10,000 miles on the EV4, on the ID4, on EV tonight. I went to the charging station, and exactly when I got to the charging station, it was 10,000 miles. So if you're doing the math, actually today is the 28th. I think this is exactly 10,000 miles in three months. Yeah, 10,000 miles in three months. Uh, Quentin says, sorry about calling Dash. I've been way too damn busy the past week. I thought, I was like, hey, this dude just wanted to get my phone number to, to sell my number to, you know, publications. And I, I knew that I've been getting a whole bunch of extra We've been calling, trying to reach you about your, uh, <laughs> about your vehicle's extended warranty. Yeah, I, I knew. I was like, man, Quentin just sold my number. Anyway, um, but yeah, man, let me know. Yeah, Quentin, ten thousand miles, ten thousand miles. So, I want to say, I want to film a video of. 10 things that I like and 10 things that I don't like about my ID4 after 10,000 miles. Uh, glad you're enjoying the EV. I can't wait to get mine. Yeah. Jack says, oh, don't, Jack, don't, don't say, don't say that word, man. You're going to distract me. See how I'm, you know, talking. But the rotisserie, I started talking about the rotisserie. I made a meatloaf. It was a, it was a piece of uh, pork belly that I braided into look like a loaf of, I won't say loaf of bread. I won't say challah again, sacrilegious, but a loaf of bread. And I cooked it just on the grate in the Traeger. And, you know, I, I don't always film everything that I cook uh, because sometimes there are, there are test cooks. But I, I did that and... I, I said, oh, man, you know what? This would be really good if I did it on the rotisserie. 
So the next time I do it, I will be doing it on a rotisserie. And we're going to try that way. <laughs> Quinn says, I never sell homies info. Uh, Victor says, I really want to get the rotisserie soon. I want to do porchetta. I understand it's important to remember to cut the strings around the meat. I uh, know. I uh, know. Uh, you know what, Victor? It is It is definitely important. So I will tell you, when I did the meatloaf that I did, um, I didn't actually use string. I used toothpicks. Eh. Don't tell Laura. And I could not find one of the toothpicks in one of the loaves, uh, the, the meat loaves that I made. And I was like, and let me, let me, man, had I filmed this, Victor would, would be talking about this for the next three years. Uh, Jimmy says, what does maintenance schedule look like on ID4? So it was crazy. And thank you for reminding me. I need to schedule service um, after 10,000 miles. They want to do a nut and bolt check. Uh, so, yeah. Travis, I was talking about you earlier, Travis. I said that I reached out to you. And because uh, Travis is one of my friends is in Florida. Uh, and... I said I reached out to Travis to see, you know, tell him I was, he, you, he was in my thoughts and I was told him if you need anything, let me know. So hopefully everything is good with you. I, well, I'm, I won't say he has power. At least he has an internet connection. So how is it in, you know, Western Florida on the, on the West Coast of Florida? <laughs> Clinton says EV maintenance is easy. Add wiper fluid. So far, that is the only thing I've had to add. I got the there was a I won't say error, but it was a light for uh for wiper fluid, and my wife was like, "Do you use that much wiper fluid?" I said it was a brand new car. They probably just put enough wiper fluid in it, not so it didn't trip the little light, and you know. All, none of the lights were on on the dash and I said well it's not like I was really using it I mean a bug here or there but no I and I think I put windshield washer solution in it at like maybe 7,500 8,000 miles so after two months <laughs> two and a half basically two months so but yeah that that is the only thing I've had to do um I did have a puncture in a tire, so I have I have a, a plug a plug in one of my tires. And other than that, there have been and the bottle of windshield washing solution, which was less than five bucks. That was it. And so ten thousand miles, I really like with a oh no, because the the plug cost me twenty dollars maybe. I was going to say with a $20 bill, I've, I've taken care of all of the maintenance so far and, and charging. Uh, Travis, how are you doing, sir? How is the, the, I don't say the missus, but the, you know, how's the girlfriend? How's the lady? Quentin, have you figured out where you want to go yet? We're in the Philadelphia area. Oh, man. All right, so if so, I, I have to go to Costco to pick up some things for this event on Saturday. If it all works out and I can go to Costco maybe tomorrow, I might film a video of me doing a piece of pork belly on a rotisserie on Friday. Because this week has just been kind of nuts and I haven't even had like normally when I'm here on Tuesdays I try to cook and and I'll cook something and I, again it, it, a lot of times it's just a lot of cooking for my family sometimes so I don't typically or I don't always film stuff or it's um I could be doing other other things around the house because uh, my wife isn't here <laughs> so that, that that you know lets me do some of the things I want and need to do versus doing honeydew stuff. So, but, uh, this, 
this week has just been kind of crazy. So I haven't uh, gotten a chance to do the things I want to do. It's just been kind of getting things done around the house and actually doing stuff for work too, working. Anyway, uh, oh, let's see. Who was it? Because I have this. It was... Because I shouted them out in the video. And then I saved their Instagram. Oh, Baracho Barbecue. That's who it was. He sent the the rotisserie. Uh and actually, you know what? While we're at it, here I'll send you I'll send you guys the link if you guys want to check that out later. Uh, Charlotte gets a rotisserie. Man. And I do use this rotisserie. I won't say quite a lot, but I, I use it a good deal. Um, <laughs> the the uh, the ring stays out on the side of the house permanently. And this, one of the things I hate about it is it's always the cleanup of the tools. What happened to my video? And you guys, is this thing still on? Uh, I... Let's see, where the hell is going on with the comments? So let's do live chat. Here we go, let's try that. Travis says I'm out. Oh, there we go. Uh, Victor says barbecue with Neil. Yes, you can. Eat balls, make sure they're all white inside. Travis's internet is out, but my phone weather isn't horrible tonight so far. I'm looking like it'll be the uh, the closest around 4 a.m. Well, Travis, you'd be easy, man. I will check on you in the morning. Uh, you did the update. I heard I4's got the over the air. No, I did not do an over the air update. So my ID4 is uh, 2023, and before they uh excuse me 2022 and before they uh released it when it was in the port they did an update while it was sitting at the port so the older of id4s um might have gone to the like infotainment 3.1 because i think mine is 3.1 now uh travis be easy man thanks quentin's his thoughts on uh the maniac area I have one more to ask about. Uh, Maniac is cool. I actually went to school, uh, elementary school in uh, Maniac. Well, Maniac, Roxboro. Uh, I went to school in Roxboro, which is up the street from Maniac. Maniac is a little more, um, eh, I won't say upscale, but I'd be careful with Maniac. Look into making sure that you're not in the floodplain because the Schuylkill Maniac sits a little low and the Schuylkill, uh, you know, can and, and does flood in Maniac from time to time, like every now and again. But in Maniac, there are a lot of like hip bars and cool, you know, places to hang out and other things like that. Uh, Maniac is definitely cool. Uh... And you 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 wouldn't be all that far from, you know, KOP. So, uh, let's see. Maceo, he said, what up, brother? How you doing, Maceo, man? It's been a minute. Hopefully you did, uh, if you went fishing this, this summer, hopefully you did well. I took my, uh, my boys fishing with me for the first time, and they had an absolute ball. Uh, unfortunately, my van broke down while I was up in, in Cape Cod, but... The boys had fun. That was all that mattered. Uh, Jimmy says was going to film our barbecue festival this weekend. Looks like it's going to be a flood because of the storm coming in. Uh, squealing on the square. It's a shame. What up, Jack? Uh, Steven, how you doing? Cooking with Steven and Jacqueline. He says, hey, yo, Dash and Peeps. Good evening. Yeah. Quentin says, yep, you're still on. For whatever reason, my comments like locked up. Uh, yeah, it was infotainment update for the ID4. Yeah, um, da, 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 da. 
yeah, I when I was when my vehicle was at the port because when I, I remember remember I told you I went into the dealership uh, back in if I could look at the date on when I purchased the oil and fuel filter for the Passat, and I had me to actually it was <clears throat> excuse me it was early in June. Cause I was like, oh man, I'm over here. I might as well walk into the to the showroom and, and like the sales floor and see what's going on. And I walked in and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm trying to find out what's going on with my order. He was like, oh, he's like, funny enough, the finance manager. He was like, funny enough, your um your vehicle got to the port. He said, I got an email about it today. I'm like, what? It it's in the port. Like he's like, yeah. He said, well. They have to do some updates to the um, to the software on you know on the car, and once that's done, then basically it'll start releasing them. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, man, you you might be you know two three weeks out. He says you'll have it by the end of the month, and like I said, that was June, and I got it on June 28th. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, definitely. Steven says, smash the thumbs up. Yes, please. I killed it uh, in Master Spring Porgy going black fishing in two weeks. That's what's up. Yeah, you know, when I go up there fishing, I, I, oh man, dude. So we had kind of a bad time. So, you know, we go up there for two days and we fish on the Helen H. I think I, you know, told you this. You got the super duper, you got a super duper early. Yeah. So, I mean, the whole thing was, Quentin, the the revision or the update came out while the, the vehicle was in transit. So they said, well, before we allow the vehicles to hit the road, we're going to do this update. Um, because they were the 2022s. They were the first 2022s coming out. Um, and because I live in Baltimore, the port is in Baltimore. One of the major ports for which the ID4s came into the country was, or at least on the East Coast, was Baltimore. Um, anyway, so yeah, I got it early uh, <laughs> after waiting almost a year and a half. Anyway, um, <laughs> Macy, when I go fishing, I'll fish with porgies every now and again, but I have a, like, it's whatever the diamond was, a diamond jig, and I'm trying to go after the bass. I'm trying to go after the bass. So I'll go and hook a hook a bass, and the bass when we went fishing because it was so early, the bass were tiny, and they made the minimum size that much bigger, and we were catching if the size was fifteen, we were catching thirteen five, fourteen, fourteen five, and the the captain and the mates were making us throw them back, so I had a bag of fish, and like there was a person that was down because I, I like to fish off the bow and it was a person that was down on the if you're looking for it on the right side i think that's the starboard side they were looking they were they were they they caught a couple sea bass and like after the second or third time that lady threw one back i was like yo i will i'll take that bass and she's like but it's too small i said it got on your hook it's gonna get in my bag she's like Okay, man. She, I, she, she, she said, well, can you take it off the hook? Gladly. If I'm coming down, I said, I will come down here and take it off the hook if you, you know, if you let me put it in my bag. She said, that's yours. She say less. So she was like, dash, oh, dash. Every time, every time she caught one. So I had a half a dozen sea bass and two or three of them were legit and the other ones were legit, like half inch too small half inch too small they got in the bag some kind of way but the mate was going around checking people's bags Maceo, i've never seen that before in my life the mate was going around going in people's bags checking their bags so i hid i hid my bag i like slid it up under the under the the, the seat on the side of the boat and anytime he came close or it went close to my bag I made sure to throw his attention. Hey man, can you help me? Yo, can you help me show me how to use this jig? Can or something. But anytime he, anytime one of the mates came close, I I called him away, and we we got like I said, we got about a dozen 
um, about a dozen sea bass. But between the boys and I, we had 200, almost 250 fish. Uncle Steve, what's going on? He said, hey, brothers. <laughs> hey, Dash. Uncle Steve, I was talking about you earlier. Um, was it Terry? Was it KB? It was KB. He, or excuse me, Neil asked what my favorite season was. Or no, it was KB who asked what my favorite season is. And I said, you know, for my family, we use a lot of Uncle Steve Shake. Uh, Uncle Steve, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like this is when I kind of place my orders. <laughs> like, um, aside from calling you when I'm, you know, been drinking, uh, but I'm good on Gator Shake. But I need some thick meat, Uncle Steve. I need some thick meat, and oh, and the smoke bomb. I have been using the thick meat and the smoke bomb combination. Whew. Yo, that is, it's it's the truth. Uh, so if you could find it in your heart to send some of that my way, I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, Quinn says, Uncle Steve. Robert says, Uncle Steve. And then uh, uh, Jimmy was talking about you. Jimmy said, well, if you want to know anything about Uncle Steve Shake, he said, I've done a video or 125. <laughs> Maceo said, he killed the sea bass too. Yes. Shoot. I I, I go up there with that diamond jig, man, and man, you don't even have to put anything on the hook. I'm, I'm see bass be like, wait, hey, what's that? Uh, Uncle Steve said, that's a mad combo on the way. The Uncle Steve, man, I really, the smoke bomb, I'm a big fan of smoked paprika. So let me just put that, put that out there. So when I can get smoke flavor, on something and not have to like work to smoke it. Oh, I'm a fan. I grill. Oh, I grilled. This is this is the fat kid of me talking. I found a ribeye boneless. Now the only bad thing was it was boneless, but a boneless ribeye steak. Last week I went to the market and I was in there and I found it. It was fifty percent off. Listen, I am not above buying discount meat for myself, okay, for my family. To sell, they pay me the money, I'm going to spend said money. Uh, I don't want any quality issues when, I, when I'm when i doing stuff for sale. But I found a boneless ribeye steak at my local giant, you know, market. And I'm like, ooh, Breakfast. It was a single steak, right? Man, let me tell you, Uncle Steve, I used the thick meat and the smoke bomb only. Talk about a killer combination. It was fantastic. The worst part was, it was a Sunday before I had to go. I ate it on Sunday before I had to go to the range. And I started my wife's propane grill and the tank died partway through the cook. Like, I started it, warmed up the grill. I'm like, I'm going to get a great searing so I can, like, put it on the grates. And, man, the damn tank died on me. I had to change the tank. Once I got the steak going, oh, it was good. It was so good. I actually, I that was all I ate. Like I ate that for that was my breakfast, and I didn't even eat lunch that day. And it was so good. The uh, thick meat smoke bomb. Do yourself a favor. Mix those two. And thank me later. Yo, know, Quentin says smoke bomb is fire. Yes, indeed. Totally agree. Kent, how you doing, man? What is going on? Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Jimmy said I had to lock up Uncle Steve's shake to keep my kids off of, out of it. Yeah, Jimmy, you also have grown kids, so they should be buying their own. I tell them to place their orders with Uncle Steve and mention your name, and they they too can get hooked up. <laughs> you know, get get the hook up because. 
Uncle Steve, Uncle Steve takes care of the folks that if you mention Dash, if you mention me, SDSBBQ or Dash, like in the notes or or any wherever you can on your order, Uncle Steve hooks it heavy, heavy, and I, I look, I am appreciative. I, this one, I feel, man, I genuinely. I'm not even gonna lie. People have sent me stuff, and I'm like, I don't even use. I don't use it. It's not for nothing. It's just I really like the stuff that I'm already using. Not taking anything away from anyone who sent me stuff, but my family really likes Uncle Steve stuff and the stuff that I already use, the seasonings I already use. And when I do something different, it is like a mutiny around here why didn't you do it i wasn't expecting that jimmy says that's what i say <laughs> you know but but dad <laughs> dad good old dad you know he's got extras no I, no he doesn't Kent says i have my <laughs> uss locked in the cabinet uh too many buddies know my security guard chico <laughs> yeah uh, Quince, his thoughts on Kennett Square. It's a bit out of Philly, but it looks like a nice, quiet place. So the only problem with Kennett Square is mushrooms. Look into Kennett Square and mushrooms. Kennett Square is quaint, okay? But Kennett Square is a ways away, and you will be fighting slash dealing with all of the traffic going up basically Route 1 to get to the Blue Route to get to King of Prussia. Ah, ah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you that that's probably not gonna be a good place to commute from. Ah, it's the you would do better looking north of King of Prussia, um, and not in the I'm gonna say line of fire. Well, actually, no, you would be going against traffic going up Route One, like you would. You would hit traffic on Route 1 out of Kennett Square to the Blue Route. But then a lot of the traffic could possibly... Now, I think a lot of traffic is going to be still heading your way. Because I, I, everybody's going to be going up to Philly. So if you're on Route 1, you got to go north or south on the Blue Route. Mm. But Kennett Square... So the problem, the problem with Kennett Square... Is Kennett Square is like one of the, if not the mushroom capital of the world. They grow so many mushrooms in Kennett Square. It is quaint out there for sure. But it's, it's going to be a hike to get to King of Prussia from Kennett Square. And I'm trying to think. Let me look at the map real quick. Stop. Um, King of Prussia. Uh, King of Prussia. So let me zoom out on the map real quick. Um, okay, so. Uh, Kent Square is here. So, <laughs> well, okay. So... From Kennett Square, you could go across Route 1 to 202, and 202 will run up to King of Prussia. Um, or you could kind of snake through Kennett Square and go north like into Downingtown and then Exton and then drive across 202 or F, that's that's uh, 30, which is um, Old Lincoln Highway, I think it is. Yeah, 30 is kind of old Lincoln Highway to get to King of Prussia. But I still think that that might not necessarily be the... Not for nothing. Uh, King of Prussia, let's see, directions. Uh, Kent Square. Kent Square to King of Prussia. So 
exactly, you know, well, they tell you to go... They don't have you going all the way across Route 1 to 202 or all the way to Route 1 to the to the Blue Route. They kind of have you snaking up and through. Um, so, through Chester County. So, you, you go through... And I can't tell what route this is. Uh, oh. So, you go 976. Okay. So... Kenneth Square, you get up to 976, take 976 to 202. So follow with me on a map. 202, and 202 runs up through King of Prussia. So you could take King of Prussia, or the 202 runs down and south. Like you could take uh, 202 down into Delaware, into Wilmington, or yeah, Wilmington. Um, but before you get to Wilmington, like Concordville or Chad's Ford, because Kenneth Square is here, Chad's Ford is here. All along Route 1. Then you have Wild Wild Pennsylvania. And then you kind of get to the Blue Route. And I was saying you take that to get up to King of Prussia. Which is about up here. But they have you sneaking up this way. And up to King of Prussia. Um, or well, I'll say they. Google. But that's still 41 minutes. And that's without traffic. So again. That's another one of those things. I tell you to look into... Um, look into uh, planning that, routing that during like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, today was sauce day. He said, I smell great. I imagine. Make sure you what's his info? UncleStevesShake.com. Nope, not that one. I have Uncle Steve's shake right here. Sorry, I, I got off on the tangent there trying to help out. Quentin. Uh, Quentin says, I hate mushrooms. We found out it's the capital of mushrooms and just left for hours. Dude, I'm, I, what I'm, t I, yo, I know, I, I, you know how people like, I know my, well, I say I know my car all the time. Quentin, did I tell you I got I got the club static zero percent charge? I even got the, the even got a, a shirt. I bought the shirt, you know, not like I got it for free, but zero miles on my EV. I don't, you know, I don't post my electric vehicle stuff on my Instagram because it's you know barbecue stuff. But I might have to get my personal page and I might start post posting some more EV stuff there. Victor says, Dash, do you know how much trouble the charter boat captain can get if you get caught with the, un with the undersized fish? So, the one this is on me, uh, it's not necessarily the charter boat uh, captain. Uh, he could lose his license, not cool. I'm sure you didn't know that. Um, but, listen, I'm going to say, Victor, in the 10 years I've been going fishing, never seen a an agent. Never. It's just it's not about what everyone thinks. Uh, best on what's best on a rotisserie. Um. Mm. So I have limited. I'm gonna say limited, limited knowledge, but uh, limited experience because I seem to cook similar stuff. You know, chicken. I've done lamb once or twice. I did. I tried the pork shoulder, and I was afraid that it actually wasn't going to cook or was going to get too done. But uh, the porchetta on the on the rotisserie comes out fire every single time. Never broke again. What's going on? He says, hi, Dash. How are you? How are you, man? I'm good. Uh, Quentin says, okay, thanks. I'll take note of that. He says, oh, snap. The EV Club shirt. Yeah. Dude, so, I, I mean, it was so at 8,850 miles. I think that's when I did it. Um, we... We went somewhere. Oh, we went out to a, it was a fundraiser for Taste Testing Number One schools uh, for the athletic department. They had a, a shrimp and bull roast. It's a shrimp fest, shrimp feast, and bull roast. And after we left, 
I hadn't charged the car. So in the morning, like a lot of times I'll charge in the morning. And when, when I went to charge, I was like, there's like 15, 18% left in the state of charge. I said, I can, I can rip the car down to the charger. The charger, the closest charger, if I go the long way, is 11 miles away. So what I did was I went past the exit and I was ripping, man. ripping. So I ripped down past the charger, got off at the very next exit, turned around and came back. And then when I got off, it still had two miles left. Like when I got to where two miles and I'm like, ooh, it was like two miles and 1%. So I'm like, ugh. So I went down like an extra light and, and I ripped it back up the street to try to burn off, use all the energy. But as soon as I try to use the energy, I press the brake and then it regens. So I'm like, ugh. <laughs> and then where the Walmart is, where the chargers are, there's like apartments and condominiums and the townhouses like down the street. So I ripped down there and turned around and ripped down. And when it like dinged at 0%, I'm like, yeah. And I drove like Miss, like I was Hoke from driving Miss Daisy to the charger. Took a couple pictures at 0% and then plugged in. So, club static. Got it. I got it. I just had to. Uh, definitely. Uh, yeah. And then, that was last week or two weeks ago. I ordered a shirt on Monday and I had it that Friday. So, the the guy who, uh, who run, and I'm, I'm on a a Facebook page, um, not my favorite <laughs> Facebook page, but I'm on a Facebook page and the guy who, like the people who talk about being, you know, club static are, uh, there's a lot of Tesla owners in this particular page, but Quentin, you know, I, I will, we can, we can talk about that. And I, I'm always like, they, they be hating on Electrify America. And I'm like, yeah, he's great. What are you talking about? But it depends on where you are on how good or not good Electrify America stuff is. Um, but anyway, Terry's back. He's, Terry, he's he survived the fireworks. He's back it up, Terry. Terry, back up. Terry, back up. <laughs> Every time I think of you, Terry, I think of that that video with the fireworks and the guy talking about Terry, back up. Uh. Uh, Terry, how are you feeling, man? I know you, you know, you had, uh, some, some, you were dealing with some issues. How are you doing, sir? You know, I, I won't say I poke fun, but I'm telling you, Terry, you know, it's one of those things where I remember people's names and who they are and what they do because of a, like a trigger memory, if that makes sense. He says, I'm sore. Oh yeah, definitely understand and and can empathize with that i uh like i said terry i i had a i had a similar area surgery and you know not for public consumption but yeah uh Quentin says ea is great yeah you know oh my gosh victor said Breaking news, Coolio is just reported dead at 59. Oh, man. Um, man, like, you know, I never... Let's see. TMZ.com. Coolio dead at 59. Damn, son. I was in Los Angeles around four for a medical emergency, and they got there. They pronounced him dead. Damn. Man. Jeez, he's enormous. Jesse, son of fantastic, fantastic voyage. Damn, son. What? 
Mark Zuckerberg signed Little League cards for one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. That is some stuff. Anyway, that's a refresh on the system. Yes, they are. So, Quentin, Quentin, do you currently drive an EV, or are you just like waiting for one? Quentin says uh, EA is alleged doing a massive refresh on their system. So, hopefully, by the time I make my decision next year, their stuff is better than it is now. <clears throat> Quentin, for the record, the the problem is this, okay? Or one of the major problems with EA is this. When EA stations work, no one says anything. I have been having, I have had, seriously, I can count on one hand how many times I've had issues in three months. Seriously. And I can, I want to say, I was going to tell you how many times I've charged, but I can't because I'm using my phone. But, actually, that's it. E-L-C-G-R-R America. Let's see. Electrify America. Ah, uh, Nope. So I can't log into my account from the website. But I have literally had less than five issues in the three months I've been on EA. But when using EA, I have probably 90% charged at Electrify America stations. And aside from when the station was being repaved, that was the only major issue I've had. Aside from just having to move to another stall or unit. Um, I, I, I haven't had issues. Like all the people talking, they go to stations and every single thing no, offline. Nope, 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 nope. It's not. That's not the case. Uh, no reason given yet. That's why he passed. Yeah, I saw that, uh, Victor. Let me see, brother. First love. What's up, Marlon? How you doing this evening? Uh, just rented that Tesla when I was up there in Philly a few weeks ago. Only EV I've driven. Um, so Marlon, if you ever, I won't say if you ever, but if you come back up this way, um, so I'm going to put a little bit, hold on. This one, a little lackadaisical with the, with the, with the, with the bubbles. This one is like 90 ish, but this is the vodka that I made. I made, I proofed down. <laughs> I wish I made it. No, I proofed down a little bit. My dad gave it to me. It was a little hot. I said, I'm going to add some water. So I took my proofing kit and and uh, proofed it down a little bit to about 90. Most vodka you buy off the shelf is 80 proof. And I'm going to add the rest of this energy drink in here. Shoot. Can you imagine? I was making my own stuff. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, let's see. Terry says, Jimmy getting things done before my second surgery. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. Definitely hope everything goes well, man. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, uh, you, you want to hurry up and get it over with, but then you got to deal with whatever the aftermath is. It's never, like, you got to get past the pain from the surgery and whatever it is that they fixed, <laughs> man, that can last a while. Jimmy, stop it. Stop, stop it. Stop, stop. Do not be a bad influence, Jimmy. He's laughing at me. Mm. Oh. Marlon says, dude. I'm not drinking all of that. I have to remember what I did the night before. I remember what I did. Uh, I remember. There are times when I don't remember, but there I remember. I, you know what, Marlon? So what I have I've realized, and and I did it. I was doing a really good job of this before, 
I would put a small jar and I would drink what was in the smaller, sm small. It was an eight ounce jar. Eight, eight? No, it was a 16 ounce jar. And I would drink no more than 12 ounces mixed with whatever else I was drinking. Because if I drank more than 12 ounces, then I would not remember what, what I drank. But since I'll be back up there the weekend of the 14th next month, I rented another Tesla, the Model Y. Yeah, you guy would be pissed. Yeah, <laughs> you're absolutely right. <laughs> you're, you're right. That That's enough incentive right there to not... Mm, I don't even... I don't, like, how... I, I'm, nope, I'm not even going down that rabbit hole. Like, how do you make your own? <laughs> nah, not going down that rabbit hole. You know what? I'm telling you, it's it's way more fun to be like, I got a guy. I got a guy. My kids, oh, man, you know what's crazy? Like, talking to your kids about certain things and... You know, illicit use, and I'm like, why do I? Why am I have it? Like, oh God, we are at this age, and they're asking me questions, and they're like, have you ever done? Have you done this? Have you done that? And I'm like, oh my gosh, they're like, what? You, what? I got a guy. Like, don't you know? You do you know how many people Daddy knows? Like, Daddy knows a lot of people. I got a guy for everything. I got a guy. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Quest says he had a Model 3 last time. All right. Uh, Victor says, have you seen a ever still kit that's less than $200? Actually, close to just over 100 Yes, Victor, I have. And... Nope, 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 it is, I feel like that could be a slippery slope, because wife would be like, you never, you haven't come to bed in multiple days, <laughs> you, or, 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 it'd be, I'm using one of those things to, to do something, and all I do is sleep, because it's like, eat, sleep, drink. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't know. Times I remember it. What you, oh, Grumpa says, there have been times I remembered what you didn't remember. And that's what I like about you, Grumpus, because you remember what I don't. That's why you, you want a cup. You are definitely one of the real ones. Uh, Grimace is just laughing. Jimmy thinks it's funny. No, Jimmy, it's not funny, because... <laughs> Victor said, a slippery slope with a smile. <laughs> That's for damn sure, because... Woohoo! Stop, yo, yo, can y'all cut it out? Because y'all got me, th you got me thinking, like... Ooh, ooh, ooh. But that, but the whole thing is this, Victor. That's only one piece. There's so much. Like, nope, 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 nope. I'm just gonna, just gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop. Anyway, how about them Eagles? Can we, can we talk about the Eagles for a second? And uh, shout out to uh, Bumpy, cause you know, yeah, that fishing trip you uh, going to ask, let me know. The oh, next fishing trip you going, let me know. I um. Excuse me. I want to say we, we have only been going up to Cape Cod and we go up there once a year. But what could possibly end up happening is my father-in-law went on a trip. I think it was out of Cape May, maybe. I think it was Cape May. But it was Jersey. And he had an absolute ball and caught a lot of uh, sea bass. And he said, man, I'm not going all the way up. You know, he, my, my father-in-law calls it Boston, but this is Cape Cod. <laughs> so he's like, I, I hate drag that ride up to Boston. Like, Pop, you're going to Cape Cod. It's not Boston. 
Cape Cod is an hour north of where we are in Cape, in Cape Cod. But he, I hate going up to Boston. I love to fish, but I hate driving. I hate to drive. I'm like, Pop, I drive an additional two hours from you. He's just sick of the drive. It takes them six hours to get up there. It takes me eight hours to get up there. So, he's, like I said, he's sick of the drive. But it's one of those things, like, if I'm driving, like, the, I want to say two years ago, but it was four years ago, because I, had to, I hadn't been up there in two years. So, it was four years ago, I'm like, Pop, I'm going to be at your house at, uh, 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. We're going, we're going to get on the road. I want to get past the George Washington Bridge by 6 a.m. Like, all right, all right, cool. And I left my house. It was 12.30, 1 o'clock in the morning. And he said, I thought you were coming up here. and We were going to leave at 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. I never made it up to your house because I, I, I had a whole bunch going on. But I went to sleep and I'm on my way. I'll be there in like two hours all right okay you know you i i just was checking on you didn't know where you were and i drove vanna up there like i said four years ago and boom got it done didn't have any issues this is the last time though didn't work out the same way uh but as long as my father-in-law is riding he's cool but when he has to drive himself that's when it's a problem so he wants to go fishing closer to Philly. So I think that's where he went fishing to Cape May. And he had a good a good time. What's Uncle Steve's info? Uh, Uncle, it's UncleSteve'sShake.com. So hold on, Maceo. Um, there's Uncle Steve's website. So uh, click the website and go from there. Quint says, I feel like I'll be traveling over the Chesapeake Bay a lot for my fishing needs. Uh, I think... I don't know, man, because it's one of those things where you will probably be better going out to the Atlantic, like going out towards like Atlantic City or going out in through New Jersey and or Delaware and heading south versus coming all the way down into Maryland and then going across the Bay Bridge. Excuse me. When you look at it on the map, it'll make more sense, you know. Where I live in Baltimore, for me to get to my, my niece's house, she lives in Smyrna, Delaware. By the way the crow flies, it's like 40 miles. But having to drive there, it's 90 miles, almost 100 miles. Because I either have to go north up into Christiana, Delaware, and then come south into Delaware. Because Baltimore's here, Smyrna is here. Right? And actually, I'll move those two points up so we can... For visualization, because I'm a big geography nerd, in case you guys haven't figured that out by, by by now. So, in order to get from Baltimore to Smyrna, I either have to drive up 95, through um, through Maryland, up to Delaware, get to Christiana, which is up about here, and then drive south to get to Smyrna. Or, I could leave Baltimore and go south, down, past, through Annapolis, across the Bay Bridge, through Kent Island or on Kent Island, and then up 301 into Delaware to get to Smyrna. Either way, it's 90 plus, 90-ish plus miles to drive when it's only, it's half of that the way the crow flies. Half the way the crow flies. And it just so happens to be where it is. There's no easy way to get there. So, Quentin, I, I I think for you, like, if you're in the, over by Philly, and I'll just say by Philly, going out and into Jersey and then further south into Jersey or or down into Delaware out to the Atlantic is going to be much easier than driving all the way down into, Del into Maryland to go across the Bay Bridge. Um, that's not where it's at. Uh, Victor says, I'm currently thinking about Jimmy Buffett's song, uh, God's Own Drunk. Uh, check it out if you're unfamiliar with the song. I am not. Uh, Jimmy says, I haven't laughed like this in a while. Uh, let's see. God's Own Drunk? Is that what you said? God's Own Drunk. 
Jimmy Buffett, God's own drunk. I'll watch that a little later. Crumpet says, dang, Dash Finger just uh, ran that stoplight. <laughs> Sean says, I have Uncle C personal number. I've never had to order on the website. LOL. I love me some Uncle C. So, Sean, I got you beat, man. I don't even have to. Listen, I won't say I don't even have to call Uncle Steve, but I have called Uncle Steve. And, and so we had a party at my house. We had a fish fry and uh, for Taste Tussle number two's 15th birthday. His 15th birthday is, is excuse me, Taste Tussle number two's birthday is right, is near July 4th. So his birthday is July 6th. So July 4th-ish, we had, we, I'm say we have, but it was his 15th birthday, so he wanted to have people over at the house. So when he started talking about all the people he wanted to have at the house, my dad said he was coming down and, and he wanted to go out with us and then he wanted to have all these people over and I, I was just like, look, we got this fish we just got. Let's have a big old fish fry. So we had a fish fry at my house. And during the fish fry, I, uh, of course, I fried fish, but I made, uh, I made, I fried chicken, I fried fish, I did French fries, and I feel like I did more. But one of the things that was a a, a big hit was Uncle Steve's shake on the the fish or the fries or the ch- it was on the chicken. I had a couple people that I'm like, what is this right here what is this like what is this flavor i'm getting like so i said oh that's that's you know, uncle steve shake you know this guy met in texas blah 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 when i was down there and i said and people like oh i need some of that so i was giving away my personal bottles so i called uncle steve like two sheets to the wind it wasn't three sheets it was two sheets to the wind i said uncle steve i had this party in my house and and you know, all these people were wanting some shake is there any way where, you know, you can send me some? And he's like, oh, say less. He's like, I'm on it. So he sent me a cake. I don't know, it's a big old box. Jake. And people who were at the party, I'm like, hey, remember that? Oh, hey, remember that? Oh, hey, remember that? So Uncle Steve, you know, definitely hooks it up. And then when Uncle Steve joins me on a live stream, I say, hey, Uncle Steve, hey, I'm out of this. I'm out of this. I'm out of this. Please and Excuse me, thank you in advance. And I, my P.O. Box, a uh, box shows up. Smoke rings and grill marks. He says, what's the name of the drink from Costco that has aged for 20 years? And I couldn't remember. You couldn't remember from life of me. The name of the drink from Costco that has aged for 20 years? Are you talking about like a, like a, like a Pappy or? The, um. 10 years best description of the best drunk of all time it takes a while to listen to there have been a time or two that you are approaching that level one live he said enjoy oh yeah uh Steve, sean said of course i had i of course have it better than me remember you hooked me up on uncle steve and the guy's not lying about the uh, deal if you mentioned dash's name uh smoke rings yeah pappy so Smoke ring, smoke ring, and smoke rings. Shoot, grill marks. Yeah, the Van Winkle or Pappy Van Winkle, whatever it's called. Sorry, I I just man, I lucked up and got one of those bottles, and that is one of the bottles that I cherish. Like, I have, I have bottles over there that. The E.H. Taylor is one that I cherish. I really enjoy the E.H. Taylor. And then the Pappy, it's it's like, every time I, I, I it's like, I be like this. It's like, it's like, oh, people talk about bourbon, and they're like, oh, yeah, the, the unobtainable bottle of Pappy. I have a bottle of Pappy. I be like, ooh, I'll be flexing. Like, I have a bottle of Pappy. You have a bottle? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, you want some? You're gonna get you gonna you gonna give me some of your back. Yeah, I'm like that's meant to be drunk drinking, drunk, consumed. How about that? It's meant to be consumed. Oh yeah. Anyway. 
Uh, goodness, we had an hour and 34 minutes. Hey, shout out to, to Bumpy. Almost dropped the govy. Happy drink is good. The cigar, not so much. So, I have cigars every now and then. Cigars for me are usually a vacation thing. Like, and it, again, it's one of those things where my kids are like, I, you know, I, I shield my kids. And, you know, if I were like, yeah, dad, we smoke cigars from time to time. You smoke cigars? Yes, when I'm on vacation, away from y'all. Or I will, like, when we're on a cruise, and I'm like, look, I'm not on a cruise. If we are on, like, when we are on, uh, we went to uh, Mexico a couple years ago. I'm like, uh, you know, buy myself a cigar, sit out late night, and smoke a cigar. Like, every now and again, I'm like, I can enjoy a cigar. Maybe. <laughs> oh. But, you know, parenthood gets in the way of enjoying different things. Plus, I'm such a, a cigar noob. I'm like, I feel like I know less about cigars than I do bourbon. You know, if that if that gives you perspective. But it just says I'm trying to, uh, wait, if I'm going to go to the coast for a couple of days, I'm going to have to get up early. So I'm off to bed. Everyone have a great night. Well, you too, sir. Enjoy your evening and good luck with your Clamming? Is it clam fishing? Is it clamoring? What is it? Like clam hauling? Clam digging? Like in inquiring minds would like to know. Like what is the you about to get me messed up? The action word for pulling clams out of the sand? I, I don't know. Is that a is that a verb? I guess it's a verb. It's an action word, right? Verb? I don't know. English. I would say English was not my strong suit. Uh, mm. Oh, man. Goodness. I have... Uh, so, hey, if you have not hit that thumbs up, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up for me. Please and thank you. There's 17 folks here and 17 likes. They're, I won't say they're hoped to be, but maybe. Uh, hmm. But seriously, Victor, I would like to know. Is it clamming? Is it fishing? I mean, clams are crustaceans. Is it? Is it? Or no, clams are mollusks. Mollusks? Is it mollusking? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's consult Google. This is clamming. Yep, so I guess she's going clamming. Good luck clamming, Victor. All right, so I'm showing 20 folks here, 19, 20 folks here. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button for me. If you're watching on mobile and you can see the chat, if you close the chat, you'll be able to see the thumbs up icon if you could hit the thumbs up and then open the chat and get back in and let me know that you have hit that thumbs up button we have gone from 17 to 22 thumbs up actually i am going to nope i hit it myself already uh come on we are in a live chat there we go <laughs> is it poaching? Uh, uh, it's just clamming, not clam diving. I, <laughs> he's a promise a video. He's a good night. Uh, damn, Marlon says I have a cigar every night. I don't know what's going on with my with my comments here. They just kind of die and stop refreshing. 
Well, Marlon, man, Marlon, where do you, Marlon, are you in, are you in Georgia? Is that, is that where you are? Because I, I, I feel like I need to learn, like, and I, you know, what's crazy is I have a friend who, a car friend, every time I see him, he's like, yo, I got you, I got you, here's, here, and I'm like, I gotta sneak away, because, you know, it's one of those things, Smoking is bad, but if I want to smoke a cigar, I'm like, I want to smoke a cigar. Uh, Steven says, uh, sorry, I've been quiet for the last few minutes. Was responding to an email from work. Uh, Victor says, uh, it's just clamming or clam diving. I promise a video. All right. Victor says, clam digging, not diving. Okay. Webcam billionaire. What's going on, dude? I thought of you. So, you know, it's hilarious. Last Actually, two Fridays in a row now. So I don't think you were here last um, Wednesday. No, you, you might have been. But I, I think I told you we went and had Indian for lunch. If I didn't, we did, and you weren't here. But we, my wife and I, have had Indian the past two Fridays. And there's there's an Indian buffet that's close to my house, and there's one that's a little further away from my house. The one that's further away from my house, of course, is more expensive, but that one is the better of the two between the two that are in the area. Well, ooh, there's another Indian spot that's really good, but we haven't been there in a while. Excuse me. But I, I was just like, you know, you asked me recently, hey, have you had any? And I'm like... Nah, I haven't. I haven't. But I've had Indian food for the past two Fridays. Uh, Jeremy, he says, yo, what's up? How you doing, man? What's uh, what's going on with you? Terry says, well, guys, I've got to go to bed. Good night, all. Well, good night. Fine. Uh... Grumba says, is it poaching? He said, no, it's that's something else. Yeah. Sure enough. Jeremy, how how's it going? Terry, you know, good night, Terry. Back it up, Terry. Terry, back up. I'm telling you, every time I see Mad with Barbecue, Barbecue, I think of that video. Let's see. I got a copyright claim uh, a few uh, weeks ago because I played a snippet of excuse me, a snippet of a of a song, and I can't remember what song it was, but I was like, I kind of knew that was gonna happen. Look, it was so funny. Back it up, Terry. I know how I can get through this. Bang up, bang up, bang up, Terry. Put it in reverse, Terry. Put it in reverse. Oh, no, 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 Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, Jesus. What the fuck? 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 Bang it up, Terry. Bang it up. Bang it up, Terry. Bang it up. Terry in the wheelchair holding the shirt like, nah, bro, don't, don't get me. <laughs> Back it up, Terry. <laughs> anyway. I think it didn't happen again. Where is my, where are my... Uh... Steven says, later, Terry. Night, man, what up? Night, Victor. Mark says, night, Dash. Thank you very much uh, for hanging out. Uh, Mark, appreciate I appreciate you. What's going on, Lou? How you doing this evening? Man, dude, this, aren't, isn't it past your bedtime? It's a school night. It's almost 11 o'clock. Mm. 
He says, hey, yo, Luke Kalamatis in the building. How are you doing, Lou? Man. I'm looking in the kitchen. I, I'm getting to the point where it's like, God, I'm, I say munchy. But I'm, I'm like, hmm, I could use a snack. Uh, Lou said, I love rotisserie grilling. I'm doing wings in a rotisserie basket on Sunday. Crazy. I was talking about the rotisserie basket, and I was asking if, you know, people really use those things. So, Lou, go on. Please tell me more about your rotisserie basket, because that's one of those accessories I've seen, and I'm like, uh, I don't know if that actually works. Wings. So, do you, like, cut the, the, the wing tips? Like, do you cut them off? Cut them up? Mm. Jimmy says, so when are we going to cook a whole pig for Dash Bash? Man, Jimmy, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, oof, I do not know. I'm going to say, don't get me to, don't get me to uh, thinking. I really do want to get together and, and do some sort of like get together. But I feel like it's gonna take some some planning. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Lou says, "Do I use it often? No. Is it worth it anytime I use it? Yes. Okay. So, Lou, if you don't mind, please tell me what the like sell it to me." For the basket I use, flats and brumettes, okay. So are you using like um uh, like the pre frozen ones like that are just the, the portions? Or are you cutting up whole whole wings? Excuse me. Oh my goodness, it is Oof, it's getting late. Or right, so I was asking if you were using like uh wing dings that you could get from Costco or Sam's or what have you, or are you using whole wings that you cut up into smaller pieces? Mm. Let's see this again. Let's see if the chat. Tap, tap, tap. Is this thing on? <clears throat> I. All right, here we go. I'm showing the live chat. Uh, so Lou says, sometimes I cut them up myself. Sometimes I do the pre-cut. Okay. And, but what is the allure? Like, does it just tumble them up and they get cooked pretty evenly? Or, like, I have so many questions. Because I'm thinking of it, like, in, in a pragmatic type of sense where if you feel that, I don't want to say fill, but if you put enough wings in that basket, even the things that are in the basket aren't, aren't all of them are going to cook evenly. Uh, I want to say there's no way, but it just seems like there's no way. Lou said, I just bought eight pounds of fresh pre-cut at Costco. Hmm. They sell 10-pound bags at Sam's. What, what? <laughs> they are frozen, though. They are frozen. But that, I want to say that doesn't bother me. That don't impress me much. <laughs> Whatever happened to Shania Twain? Uh, anyway. 
Hmm, a rotisserie basket. Nope, don't look at Amazon. Don't look at Amazon. <laughs> Do the responsible thing and pay stuff off. Pay stuff down. Uh, hog hogs and brownies just kicked in for who? You or me? Because <laughs> I've been drinking. I've been drinking. This is cup number two. Uh, I won't say I wish I had some brownies, but no. I won't say that's not my thing, but I haven't been presented with the opportunity. How about that? Uh, Garbus says, at our, the wings squeezed or placed in the, wait, are the wings squeezed or placed tumbling in the basket like uh, lotto balls? I think they're like lotto balls. I can't tell you exactly. I don't know what it is. Oh, uh -huh. all right. Well, Lou, I can respect that, you know, because there are some processes that just work and they're FM freaking magic, right? You know, and it's like, I don't know why this works or how this works, but it's FM. The hell is FM? Freaking magic. Okay. Yep. Uh, Lou says he has the Napoleon basket. He uses it on the Kamado Joe. Oh, man. Speaking of Kamado Joe, I am sad. I pulled down the last 40 pound or 40 ish pound bag of charcoal from the 800 bag, 800 pounds of charcoal that I bought uh, a few years ago. Jimmy says, look, I will donate my first field to hold all the people who uh, we can feed for Dash Bash. Whew. Oh. All right, Jimmy says, look, I will donate my front field. So that means we got to go to South Carolina. I mean, I think Jimmy's like eight hours away. Oh, let's just uh, consult the map. Nope, not that one. Eagles, Eagle, and sign into a different account. Curious. Okay, hold oh, no. up. Don't tell Nora. You know, it's funny. I'm going through all of this, and I know the na like the name of your city. I know the name of your city. Uh, what? Holy cow! You know, it's, it's, it's a major thing when you know people's names. What? I see you. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, there are pictures and everything. I got evidence. <laughs> uh, well, I'll figure that part out later. Anyway, uh, they tumble like the lotto balls, Lou says. It's a pain to clean, though. Uh, I can tell you that, yeah. Uh, Quentin says I was going to buy the jotisserie for the egg, but I just don't think I'll use it enough. I love my wings grilled 
And my chicken slow smoked, spatch cut in, uh, you know, with the back out. Excuse me. That was a big one. And the cleanup of the basket. <laughs> That's to be a pain. Indeed. Uh, Hurricane is going to Rome Barbecue this weekend in Georgia. Yeah. Chef Arell, what's up with you, man? He says, what's Gucci? What's Gucci is my wife has a fan, a Gucci fanny pack. Like, that's what's Gucci. Oh, she has some, some Gucci sandals and Gucci glasses. So when my sister-in-law passed away, um, my niece and my sister-in-law's wife, so technically my sister-in-law, <laughs> um, she gave my wife, or they gave my wife, they're like, hey, you know, Mrs. Dash might like this. Mrs. Dash might like this. And they gave her a box of some of my sister-in-law's things. And my wife is, like, using the Gucci bag all the time. Uh, and I don't know about flip-flops. The flip-flops. Well, flip-flops, but, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sold the next is making dinner something on my stove. I gotta work for five months. Been so busy, just need a uh, grip paint adjusted. Hopefully, no replacement. Cheers, bro. I miss a good oven meal. Listen, I when I was in Florida, my mother in law, the first or second time, my mother in law's stove was doing something similar, and it was like you just crank it you just turn the there, there's a there's an adjustment screw oh if you lift up uh, lift up the top of the range there's an adjustment in there which will like regulate the amount of glass gas i said glass gas that comes out uh chef said that's was actually gucci yeah talking about actual gucci stuff jimmy says so yeah lou's doing fine how are your events going they, I won't say slow down, but I, I did an event the first week. I did an event the second week of uh, September. And then I did, it wasn't really an event, but I cooked for my cousin. And... Excuse me. I don't even know. I think she she I think she paid me via PayPal. Uh, I'll say I'm not pressed from my cousin, but other people, yo, seven days in advance, pay me. With this event at the school, they have uh, pre-orders for pulled pork, like a pulled pork platter, and then a uh, chicken platter. And it's just a matter of providing. So I need to know what the final numbers are. I'm going to get the final numbers hopefully Thursday afternoon, Friday morning. And I can do my shop on Friday afternoon and kind of go from there. And then I split the total sales. I'm going to say profits, but the total sales with the school. Ooh, that was a bigger one. Um, oh. I am. I'm gonna be getting out of here in a second. Uh, so webcam billionaire, my events are going well. There are some things that I would like to change and I could do better, but there's always worse. I could always be doing worse. Uh, so it's just just one of those things, man. Definitely. All right, we have a minute left before I cut out of here. Anybody have any? Last thoughts, closing remarks, or did you just want to call out, you know, call out somebody like, John, you a punk, you won't fight me. Quint says, all right, man, I got to charge my devices and hunker down for the night, uh, for the night of hurricane madness. Hey, he says, later. Yes, indeed, be easy. All right, I am going to cut it quits. I got up this morning early. 
And the good thing is I don't have to get up early tomorrow, but whew, if that's why I went out and did the charging tonight. <laughs> anyway, Quentin says later, Dash. Hey, you guys definitely take great care. Uh, definitely take great care. Thank you for hanging out. Really, really do appreciate it. And, you know, huh, any incentive that I can, I will make it available to you and for you. So, with that, I'm gone. Shout out, Bombay. Thank you for watching.